Alright, so welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the hardest career series. Today's episode, I'm going to show you the mods I've just added. So at the end of the previous episode, I explained I added three mods. Intersolar Extended from Three Thinker, as well as Rover Dudes out of Kubier Drive or Warp Drive. And also Extra Solar, which adds a star called Valentine with a set of planets around it. I've added another mod which adds another set of celestial bodies be well well beyond the outer planets and valentine and it's called event horizon and among other things it adds a black hole so i'm heading to the tracking station i'm going to show you these mods i've just added okay so the tracking station so obviously previously i'd explained i added the outer planets mod so if I zoom out from Kerbin, see the Moon, see Minmus, all the usual stock planets, until we get to Jewel. Duna. Dress. And there's Jewel. So the Outer Planets mod begins with Sarnus. And Sarnus is a, well obviously Jewel is based on Jupiter in our own star system, and Sarnus is based on Saturn. Associated Moons. We have Ulam, we have Neilon, and Plock. So might even further, you'll see, I mean, you see the massive distance. Well, obviously, the Outer Planets mod extends the stock system considerably. However, Valentine, it is a star, where they just load up. They do load up on, uh, well, on demand. So it can take a few seconds, there we go. So we have Valentine. So we're heading towards Valentine. And it's practically the entire solar system again. About the same size as the original stock system. So we have Hibba. Solith. Fust. Mir. And we have Lumina. So we are one, uh, two. So that's about the third one out. So we'll look at the third one out. So the one unique textures. And some of that bones, obviously this one has. So we're zooming to the planet. Pretty much a water well, from what I can tell. Just bring up the. Air. Yeah, there we go. So very similar to Kerbin, has a thick atmosphere. That is rich in oxygen. First, its surf surface is mainly covered in water, with small mountainous islands peppering its surface. They've all got their own community, community resource package. So, all associated, you can actually go here and ISRU to your heart's content. So, there's quite a few places here we could land. Once we get into stellar drives. Okay. So we'll look at the moon. So a typical just take a look at some of them. I'll take a look, look through all of them. It'll take about three or four hours. To add that many bo extra bodies. So cuprus. Mm. An abundance of copper mixed in with its soil. Okay. So, so let's take a look at another one, and then we'll head to the. Uh... So, obviously, Valentine is added by, as I said, Extra Solar. Very easy to install. You do need Copernicus, as always. Quick look at Lumina. Then we'll move on to Event Horizon. Let's see how many easy. I mean, again, lots of bodies to explore. Lots of places to get to. It's practically every single, well, I won't say every single gas giant in the system or installed has its own little sort, but a lot of them do. Again, all unique textures. The Lumina, gas giant with a ring system around it, and several moons. 
So we have Javeen. So we'll pick on one of them. We'll pick on Maul. So tiny pathetic moon orbiting way too close to Lumina. Its many craters and chaotic surface was likely the result of a collision between Maul and an object of similar size. The debris created by such a collision might have formed Lumina's rings. You think Lumina would be a little bit closer, wouldn't you? I mean, Mal would be a little bit close to Lumina. If it was here. But obviously, maybe if it collided and got pushed out, there's always a possibility. Yeah, quite a lumpy surface. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Minmus. Except it's not green. Okay. An example of what we've added with Valentine, the extra solar mod. So I'll zoom out. Away from Valentine. And you see the distance, the skill distance, it's massive. It does orbit. But I have no idea how long it takes for it to orbit. It should take quite a number of years. Maybe in centuries to get back around here, so the closest approach would be where you would launch. But obviously you need to be able to get back as well. So let's go a little bit further and we can see something down here. This is Murph. Now this is the anomaly which is listed in the tracking, eh, not the tracking, in our R&D section called Anomaly. It's actually a black hole. So as we zoom in we can see a star system just there. It's called Cooper. We have planets orbiting it. Also another star system just here called Claws. So we're heading... Oh, we'll, we'll take a look at Cooper first. As you can see we've got several more bodies to explore. These also have moons. Not all of them. So we've got Jord. Fuego. Mert. Novus. And Brand. The star itself is obviously called Cooper. We shall pick on one. We shall zoom in. Hopefully it's got a moon. Yes it has. Excellent. So it looks like... Looks to be rocky desert. Large bodies of water and huge deposits of glacial ice can be seen as well. So I see it's most of it's rocky. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's a good mixture. It's a good mixture. It's slightly more land. Well, not slightly, substantially more land compared to water. But there's enough water. That's if it is water, as in H two O. A nice sized moon as well. Very similar to Mum. Quite mountainous areas. Some flat areas we could probably land on if we choose to do so. And a very strange looking area just here. Alright, so that's Cooper. We'll just take a look at the other star system. It will pause every so often as you pull out away from as it loads in the, uh, the other bodies again. So you can see quite a substantial star system here. Several light years from what I can tell away from Kerbin. So we have Kloss. Again, a number of bodies. One, two, three. Yep, four. Three, three, four, yeah, three. I can see three. Sometimes I fade in though as you zoom in. So that's a blue. It's a blue type star. It's extremely small. So I'll pick on Logos. Angry Dark Eve. Logos oh, fits the properties of a long theorized planet type called Carbon Planet. Oh, nice. 
So we'll go generally for carbon. I believe car pl carbon planets are also described as diamond planets. Reaching diamond deposits. Nice. It's nice few unique bodies to explore. The own science packages, as I've already said, and also resources, which I've also said as well. Biomes, all that sort of stuff. So let's zoom in to Murph. If it lets me. There we go. No, that's Doyle. So this is the quantum singularity, or otherwise known as a black hole. So you've got several orbits. Several orbiting celestial bodies. Argyll. Romilly. And Magister. And there's another one just here. That faded out, I believe. There we go. Oh, that's very close. Doyle. Magister comes quite close as well. Almost into the event horizon. So that is the black hole. This has been added by the mod called the Event Horizon. You can check that on the uh, KSP official forums. Highly recommend it if your system can handle it. Strangely enough, it's actually smaller than the Outer Planets mod in size. As far as megabytes are concerned. Also describes the wormhole. When at Rosenbridge. In other words, a wormhole. Fantastic though, I love the effect. This has been handmade by the mod author. As I say, highly recommend that you head on to the uh, case of and install this if your system can handle it. But you'll definitely, definitely need at least at least rubber dudes, Alcubia Drive, maybe Interstellar Extended as well. As I said, I've got both in, so with a ton of other mods as well. So this, Event Horizon, and the other mods I've just shown you, as well as Interstellar, Interstellar Extended, and all the Alcubi Drive from Robo they've been included on the uh, mod list on the player's description's description panel. I said I won't be putting them underneath each of the videos in the search. I've just done head over to the uh, playlist description, and you can see all the mods there. So fantastic. So, yeah, lots and lots to do. Lots to do. Okay, so back outside. Outside the end of this episode. It's rather short uh, sort of episode, but I just wanted to show you those mods I've added in. Alright, so, as I said, you can see all the uh, mods I've got installed. The entire list on the display, this playlist description section. So just head on to the playlist. And scroll down, and you can see all the mods got installed. However, please realize uh, if you try and install this on anything less than 32 gigabytes and at least 4 to 6 gigs on your graphics card, you are going to start experiencing crashes. It may not even, in fact, to be perfectly honest, if you've got less than 16 gigs or 16 gigs or less, it will cause a crash before it even loads in. So please bear that in mind. I have got a substantially over the 32 gigs. I've got 64 gigs on the system. So it's got plenty to expand into. A lot of people won't have that. Alright, so. Hope you enjoyed. I will be carrying on with the series in the next episode. Come on with the giving aircraft a purpose contract. However, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments? More than welcome. We also have Discord, Twitter and Facebook. You find a link to those three websites on the banner on the front page of the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well for this series and other series I'll be going through right now and in the future. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. As always, take care and bye-bye. Uh,